ENDA, which is the Employee Non-Discrimination Act, which would prohibit discrimination in hiring and employment on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity by civilian non-religious employers with at least 15 employees. Just contemplate this for a moment. If you're gay, you can now serve in the military. If the military can function with gay people, what is it about your business that employs more than 15 people, which would be so destroyed if you had a gay person working there? And cue the libertarians who will call me now and say, well, I, in my business, would never discriminate against a gay person, but the marketplace can take care of it. Well, if the marketplace can take care of it, why haven't we seen the marketplace take care of it? People get harassed on the job because they're gay. People don't get hired because they're gay. And it's all just because of their bigotry. ENDA has been introduced into Congress, uh, every Congress since 1994, except for the 100th and 9th Congress. And finally, a Senate panel on Wednesday, the HELP Committee, Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, uh, has passed it by a vote of 15 to 7. There are already um, a couple of other Republicans, in addition to the four Republicans on the committee, who have um, signed off on this. That means that the bill is close to 55 votes in support in the Senate. Of course, it would need 60 under our current filibuster rules. And when it gets to the House, it will, of course, uh, certainly die uh, because the United States House of Representatives is overwhelmingly full with a bunch of bigots known as the Republican Party. But at least there is some, some progress here. And I imagine uh, progress is going to move a lot quicker in the near future, uh, particularly on this.